Hi guys, welcome back. In this part, we are going to learn how to retrieve the data from the SQLite database. So here, there are two buttons, save and load. We already complete the coding for save button. Now we are going to code the uh, load button. So like the save button, we are going to create the action listeners for the uh, load button also. So load dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener okay so in the same same as save button we are uh, we we need to initialize the object of the handler class so I just copy this. and paste it here we just initialize that handler object that is the object of the data handler class now we need to open the database so we need to open it now we just open it and now we are going to uh, get the values from the database take a closer look of the uh, get data method okay here is the method name is return data actually it will return on an object of cursor class so we need an object of cursor class here cursor c is equal to handler dot return data actually that method return an object of cursor class we need to import the cursor class here okay now we iterate the cursor object for returning actual data from the database so I just start <coughs> if anything found on the cursor object C dot has next or uh, move it to first that means there is some data on the cursor object uh, move it to first that means there is something present on the cursor object that means uh, there is some data uh, present on that table now we are going to iterate it using a do while loop so I just start a do while loop here and provide a condition here c dot <coughs> move it to next if there is an extra row is present the loop will iterate uh, now I am going to create two string variable here string mm, get name and get email okay so here I just catch the value of name and email get name is equal to c dot get column get string using column index name is the zeroth index now get email is equal to c dot get string this is the first index ok now we just <coughs> retrieve the value from uh, name and uh, values from the database for email and name so I need to initialize name and uh, name and email get email I initialize it into null value get name and get email ok now we just uh, retrieve the value from the database so we need to close it we need to close the uh, database here is the do statement here is the if clause and we need to close it so uh, handler dot close we just close the database and now we are going to print that value dos to dot make text ok 
get base context name plus name uh, sorry it is get name and email and email is equal to uh, get to email now specify the length of the toast toast to log I make it as long and make the toast visible using the show method okay we just retrieve the data from the database so I just declare two string variables name and email and initialize the object of the data handler class and open the database and by using an object of cursor class we just call the return data but return data uh, method of the data handler class and we iterate that cursor class here and uh, by using the column index using the method called the get string here is the zero th column index that means it is represent the name field and here is the uh, email field and uh, we finally close the database and print that two values using a toast now this is the time to check the project so now I'm running the project now run us Android application okay now <coughs> Project is executed and successfully launched on the emulator. I just give a name here, Lupish. Uh, give an email here, Lupish at gmail.com. First, I am going to save it. The data is inserted. Now, I am going to load the data. That means retrieve the data from the database, load data, name is equal to rubish and email is equal to rubish at gmail.com. Guys, this is how we using an SQLite database in Android. Please subscribe my channel now for getting more video updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part of this tutorial.